Hi everybody, I'm Edward Munoz and I'm here today. Yes, you look at me, look at me, but because we want to help you to be successful in your business. We, in this video, we will show you how you can make a beautiful bouquet on the right way. Customer will appreciate you and we appreciate your business. Thank you for watching us and I hope you love and enjoy this video. We need to start blowing up some balloons latex with helium and I will show you how I tie the balloons. We need uh, just, this is a simple bouquet like you saw in the intro. It's just four balloons latex and one foil. Remember, if you will or you want last longer your balloons flooring for a longer time, you need to use high float. Remember, high float, they come in different presentations and those that product is amazing. Your balloons will float longer, just the latex, no foils. We need to use a curly ribbon. Remember, don't use metallic ribbon for helium balloons. Okay. Some people is afraid about the latex, but this is not a good sign. Look. This is perfect. Now, when we need to tie the ribbon, I will show you guys my secret because I love how I tie balloons. Help me to tie faster and everybody can do it. I will hold my neck and my ribbon is here. I need it wrapping around the neck, the balloon, around the ribbon. I will show you right now. You will use just two fingers. The neck, the balloon, around your second finger. This is the neck. The neck will be down the ribbon. And now you see this space just fall through the neck. Why I tie like that? Because help me to move the ribbon. We have this beautiful shape foil balloon that we will blow up with the foil nozzle. Look how beautiful this jellyfish. We need to tie the ribbon here in the bottom. To cover the mechanic, I will use a Oasis U glue dash to attach this to the balloon. When we need to make a bouquet, the foil one need to be attached to the weight individual. When I need to make a helium bouquet, I try to be all of those first on the same height. I hold it and now I can decide which one I want on top or on the bottom. If I do three, I, I always put one, two, and three. If I put four, I love how it look two on top and two on the bottom. I will take two and just going up. And those two like this. You organize your bouquets, depends which one you want on top or which one you want on the bottom. Now tie individual knot on the weight. And cut. Something special, like don't take to us, like long, long time, but it's something different. 
uh, just take extra time for your customer and they will appreciate. Remember, the customer will back to you when you create memories and you will create memories when that bouquet is special to somebody. Means take two seconds to curly all the ribbon. Look how beautiful they look. Now I want you to do me a favor. Do a bouquet like that and post it right now in your Instagram and Facebook and tag us Burton plus Burton. And give me some love here. Be writing Edward, that bouquet, I love you. And now I will reproduce that bouquet and I will make money. You are ready to go there and make your business successful. We are here to help you. If you want to learn more and more and more, remember, you have amazing, fantastic, fabulous videos in YouTube. Burton plus Burton. We are waiting for you guys. Thank you for watching.